Hello and welcome to the second Cinti Asset Color Editing Tutorial. In the last tutorial we covered more basic mesh color editing for Cinti Assets. This time we will look at modifying more complex meshes, but specifically the Cinti characters. These steps will work for any low poly assets from any other pack, um, not necessarily Cinti, uh, that use similar texture mappings. If you are familiar with the Cinti Farm Pack, you will notice that this shirt does not come standard on this character. Let's jump into it. So we're going to go to our Polygon Farm Pack, or whatever Cinti Pack you got, generally the character mesh. We are going to... I'm going to use this one. We're going to go to Asset Localizations and Export. We are going to export the FBX. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. So these are the settings I'm using. Export. We will now open up Blender. Delete our cube. We need to import our FEX character that we just exported from Unreal, which was this one. Firstly, what you want to do is open him up. And I just want to turn off all that other stuff. So we have the character selected. We're going to hit Tab for Edit Mode. Uh, this only works if you have this one selected. If you're if you're up here and I press Tab, it doesn't do anything. So you have to be inside it and go into the actual mesh body. So hit Tab. Uh, we also are going to make a split. We are going to select faces for our selection. Just makes life easier so you can actually select faces and not the vertexes. So A for select all. We need to go to the shade shade editor. And this is where we are going to need our texture file. So back in Unreal. We're going to copy out the, or export out the material, no, texture. If we just go through the 1A, we are going to asset localization, export. Oh, we're going to call it just underscore shirt, because that's just specifically what I'm doing. Now if we go back to Blender, we can now open up an image in the box desktop. And now that that's opened and in here, we can go to our UV editor. And if we come on this side, and select viewport shading it's the material preview I just find it this one's a bit difficult to see because it's actually got lights and all that but if you just select the material now what you will see is if we highlight and select for these faces we will see that his shirt the general shirt is mapped to this just red, it'll be the same red all around here. And this star is actually mapped one sided. So it just needs it just needs to be a symmetrical shape. What you normally I guess you would do is you just want the shirt the same colour just for ease. And if you want to do that you can just 
select all of those. What we can do here is select them and we can merge. So we want to go to merge and we want to go at center. And now if I hit G and select the red, you'll see we've just got a red shirt now or we could select all of them. That's what we're going to do in a minute and choose a different color. Uh, I am going to undo that because I want to do a picture over there as well as a color. Just makes it for a more interesting tutorial. What we're going to do is we need to, I want to make a shirt group. Uh, you can do the same, well, you'd probably want to do the same thing for the pants, the belt, the shoes, the uh, the skin everywhere, and maybe the beard, just just all the different collections. And to do that, we need to go to Object Data Properties. We are going to go to Vertex Groups, and you will just create a new Vertex Group. What I recommend you do is just rename that. face faces faces G group just name it one thing and then just chuck an underscore shirt and that way when you make all your all your groups if you're going to be doing this multiple times to this asset you will um, they'll all be together and you just scroll through the shirt which one which one you want just make it easier for you now we need to assign so what we want to do is this is a little bit here so I'm going to speed this up I'm just going to be selecting the faces what you want to do is shift uh, if you hold down shift and click you will select multiples it can unselect it right I'm just going to go through and select all faces that to do with the shirt Something handy to note, you can control Z if you accidentally click without holding shift and that will bring back your previous selection. Also the controls to move around is the middle, hold the middle mouse button in and will that will rotate you. Scroll it in and out for zoom and then if you hold down shift and middle button it will pan around. What we want to do is we want to have the faces shirt selected and then you want to click assign. Bang. So now when I click away, I don't have whatever selected, I just select that and go select. So we now have a shirt set up and you can go through and do that with whatever you want. Uh, the first step, what we're going to do is we don't actually need to use this for changing the just the shirt color in the texture map we're going to change it on the texture map just edit and paint and chuck it into unreal engine and that way we can just use the same uvs and just update the shirt it works out for this one only because they have the setup but um some of the more complicated ones will have actual colors here and there and whatever so you will then have to edit the actual UV mappings and export and then make sure that you use a texture coordinate node to select the appropriate UV channel. We could just merge at center G just group them again and now that was red could have a green shirt. I need to export the bitmap as a BMT to edit it. So asset actions export 
Uh, it has to be in a bitmap on the desktop. And now I can edit it. Open with paint. I'm just going to zoom on into the area. Now, if you notice, this blue doesn't get onto the front of the shirt. So it j must just cut off just here. So we are going to delete that, get that. Now we have a blank canvas for the shirt. What you could do is um, go and save as uh, a bitmap will reload back into Unreal Engine. Uh, it's just the same as the other file type. But you could save this as an empty shirt template, and then so you could just make up different ones. I'm just going to. What do we do? We did pink last for the demo, and I added a heart. Thank you. Alright, with that said, we are going to now bring that over, F2 to rename, just going to go underscore Hang just so we know which one it is. What I want to do is go to material, got one A, and I'm just going to copy it over. We are going to delete that one. So the well, what the reason is why we went into it in Blender, like you'd still have to do that because you still need to know where you're mapping to a color. We are going to copy over. Or before we copy over, what you have to do when you bring it in is you have to make sure that this is enabled sRGB. Save, close. Now I can bring it in. It works if it. If uh, you don't do that, it works, but it just looks real dull. The colors don't come out properly. And you'll see that there is our heart. We'll save that. And oh, we'll close off this. I'll just override this one. Oh, thought it was going to work for a second. So 1A has the white color. I just, uh, for some reason, I did it on the 1C for the previous one. And anyways, you can see how we just made that shirt. That's going to do it for now. We will have to do a part two to this, where we map different colors with the UV mapping. Save the extra UV map onto the character and then that way when we export this out and back into Unreal we can just select different uh, different colors via the UV map so until then thanks